Mario. Why is that man a fucking genius? Can someone please make it make sense? Hey guys, what's up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shlia if you're new here and welcome to today's video. So as you guys can tell by the title, it was out of time again. That Sephora VIB sale. Um, I'm sorry I got this video up after the sales ended. I think you guys are going to get the video like two, one to two days after the sale just ended. Um, but my package took a little bit longer to come in than I expected, which was a teeny tiny tiny tad bit frustrating. Better like, what you going to do? Um, but I do have an entire box here of goodies that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I think I got between 18 to 20 items in my purchase um i spent a little around 500 dollars after the sale i think something like that i gotta check the receipts but yeah if you guys don't know or if this is your first time hearing about it or whatever um so twice a year spring and then fall sephora does a major vib sale and where basically anyone who it, it's like in tiers if you are a vib rouge member you get 20 percent off if you are a i'm sorry yes 20 percent off if you are a vib insider you get 15 percent off and if you're a vib you get 10 percent off and then everything from sephora collection is 30 percent off and each one of those tiers has like its different dates I'll list what the dates were not that it matters anymore but I'll go ahead and list those here for you guys so you guys have like a bit of an understanding of exactly how it works so last fall I did the same thing I always go ham sandwich I always go ham sandwich when the sale comes around and it's just because I buy all year round but it's also just like when I have the opportunity to save money why why not who not trying to save money like come on be for real be for real so let's bust out the scissors y'all know and let's get this bad boy open guys I've had I got the package in a couple days ago I have not even opened it because I wanted to do it with y'all I'm so excited Lord. death by paper I'm feeling very attacked that's how I'm feeling right now. Okay, let's take. I'm gonna clean that up, I promise. So that is a bit like, that's everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and just start taking everything out. Oh my God. You know, like you forget. You know what I mean? Like, I'm literally like, oh damn, baby, I forgot. So one thing I'm super excited about with this is that the majority of my purchases this time around are brand new. I very rarely do that. But there were so many new things in that like just came out recently that it just worked out perfectly. Like I feel like a lot of times things are already out and I bought them like as it came out and whatever. And a lot of times I'm just like re, re what do you call it? Repurchasing? Re-updating. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Replenishing. There we go. I'm just replenishing my collection. That was not the case this time. Super exciting. So I don't know. Oops. I'm like, how do I want to do this? How do I want to tackle this? Like, do I want to go with hair products first, base products first, skin products first? I don't know. I'm like so excited. Like, do you see me right now? Ah! Okay. All right. Let's just do this. Let's start with skin products first um, and then work our way to base products and then... Well, like, you know what I'm trying to say. Y'all get the vibes. Okay, anyway, so starting with skin. So normally when it comes to pre-cleansing my face, I like to go in with the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, but I decided to switch things up. This is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. Okay, let's open it together. This is my first time trying this. And I just wanted to use something that was a little more lightweight because sometimes I feel like as much as I love it, this is it here. See that bad boy um i feel like sometimes the clinique take the day off 
it doesn't actually but I low-key feels like it clogs my pores you know what I mean and I know it doesn't because I've been using it for years and I don't have any issues with it but like sometimes I just be like I don't know okay so you guys know I like to like sort of talk about the products a little bit give you a little bit of insight on what it is and why I got it and basically the Dermalogica pre cleanse is basically just it says deep cleansing oil removes makeup impurities from the skin achieve ultra clean and healthy looking skin with a double cleanse regimen that begins with the pre cleanse it thoroughly melts away layers of excess sebum sunscreen waterproof makeup ex environmental pollutants and residential residential the video you know what lord residual now i just lost my place residual products that build up on the skin throughout the day um with skin fortifying board seed okay and then like it just lists like some of the ingredients so basically i just wanted something that was a little bit thinner that could still break down my makeup because sometimes i don't like to always go in with two like soaps or two washes like you know what i mean like different things can be different for the skin so i like to just get it all broken down and get it out and then really go in with my cleanser speaking of cleansers speaking of cleansers i'm gonna talk about my baby right now okay y'all know i'm never i am never not going to hype this product okay i'm never not y'all could watch 37 of these videos you can i'm gonna be talking about the same one i don't care i don't care i don't care my man my man my man my man okay okay so this is the ula hendrickson find your balance oil control cleanser y'all y'all baby you want to control your oil you want to control your acne you want clean skin you want refreshed skin you want hydrating skin you want to wear 37,000 pounds of makeup and then still wake up and look like the next morning and look like you ain't have on nothing baby baby okay treat yourself i am obsessed you don't understand i am obsessed with this cleanser so years ago i used to have really bad skin like i'm talking like not even that long ago maybe like 2017 2018 really really bad skin i was not taking very good care of my skin um through despite how much makeup i was wearing you know y'all know you know you know and I started a skincare regimen and one of the first things that I included in that regimen was this and I, I have not turned back since like I owe a lot of my like healthy looking skin to this cleanser like I and I'm not kidding truly not kidding okay I very rarely break out I did have a pimple last week but that was only because I was out yeah I barely break out my makeup lasts pretty much all day like obviously there's other contributing factors but like y'all don't understand like you don't understand okay you don't understand anyway so about the cleanser it just says that it reduces excess oil and cleanses your pores it's formulated with green fusion complex and neem seed oil it's deep cleansing action helps to unclog and purify pores without stripping the skin and that is a Fendi fact okay all right moving on let's talk about moisturizers this is an oldie but a goodie this is the glow recipe watermelon pink juice moisturizer <gasps> i said it right i never say it right <laughs> look at me growing up okay anyway one of my favorite moisturizers it's oil free um it, it is a water-based I think wait I'm positive I'm pretty sure the first ingredient is watermelon fruit extract did not know that anyway uh, okay I might have made up the fact that it was water-based don't quote me on that but anyway it says daily moisturizer that perfects skin with lush juicy hydration for a lasting lit from within watery glow formulating with uh, hydrating hyaluronic acid anti antioxidant Oh my god antioxidant rich watermelon and a blend of soothing botanicals to prep the skin for the day ahead um and yeah if you guys don't know hyaluronic acid is really good for keeping the skin really plump um it helps with like wrinkles and like things like that and just like really keeping like a youthful healthy juicy fresh you know look to the skin so yeah this one i've been using this for a while now um as well and uh this is what it looks like if you are curious you guys have definitely seen it here on my channel before if you have seen any of my other videos before okay moving on y'all i'm not gonna lie i'm very surprised by the size of this the picture is very deceiving online like i was like ah! the box came and i was like 
what the hell is this? Anyway, this is the Fenty Skin Thick and Smooth Rich Peptide Eye Cream. This is the guy right there. Let's go ahead and let's take it out and let's have a look-see. Yeah, y'all, it's a baby. I just a baby. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is it here. Super cute. A little bit about the product itself. It just says, rich, balmy texture, intensely hydrates and improves skin texture around the eyes and it reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles for your renewed skin. Funny thing is, I actually don't have very many fine lines around my eyes. I'm really like, I don't know, gen I think genetics are like playing a big role in that. I have no idea. But I also ain't trying to have any, okay? Your girl's getting older and I simply don't have time, okay? Um, but let me go ahead and crack this bad boy open for you guys. So you just literally, there's like a twisty here at the bottom. I hope the camera's like focusing for you guys. And you just hmm. you be like, I don't think it's working. Y'all, did I get a faulty one? OMG. No, seriously, I think it's I think it's like faulty. y'all okay I might have to reevaluate that on a later date but I thought you were supposed to just twist it up and then the product comes out and like I can see a little bit of it but I'm like oh wait no 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 it's coming there we go you see it only took 47,000 twists okay that was crazy okay anywho so it does work it's not actually faulty but yeah I wanted to start to incorporate this into my nighttime skincare routine so you guys I'm sure will see a follow-up about a lot of these products at a later date or in a weekly vlog who knows okay moving on this is another one that I've already had before but last time I bought the mini this is the always an optimist bear oh my god <gasps> Always an Optimus Illuminating Primer. I was literally reading the French side. Lord knows my ass don't speak no damn French. Um, here it is. This has very quickly become one of my favorite primers, y'all. I'm so obsessed with it. It's so illuminating. It radiates, like your skin radiates from within. Like, I'm not wearing any highlighter right now. My skin is fully set with powder. It is a little toasty in my house. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sure y'all hear the heat. You hear it? Um, but yeah, like once your makeup like settles, the skin comes through really beautifully with this. I also love to use this primer when I'm not wearing any makeup or I'm having really, really light makeup days where I'm just gonna like fill in the brows with a little bit of concealer and a gloss. Looks so beautiful. Like the skin just looks healthy and really fresh and dewy without looking oily and greasy. You know what I mean? Y'all know. Okay, so next up is the Refi brow tint um if you guys have seen my previous vlogs or like when i was on vacation you guys know i've been using the refi um pencil as well as the brow sculpt and recently i just got i mean obviously recently um i just added the brow tint to the mix if i could open it that'd be great this is it here let me i'll open it here and show you guys this is the applicator wand here and I got the shade dark brown I've actually really been liking it I'm wearing it today as well but I do have as um the brow pencil in as well to just sort of flick in between and add a lot like you know a little bit more filler for my brows because my brows are very fine but if you are quick and on the go and you just want to sort of like fill in the brows the brow tint is great no need for the pencil it really just adds that extra like layer of darkness to your brows and you don't have to like do all the extra sculpting work that nobody has time for when they're on the go this is one of my favorites this is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer I swear by this concealer I wear it every single day I wear it to work I wear it on vacation I wear it for hours and hours and hours it is a long wearing full coverage like I'm so obsessed um, with this concealer it's been one of my favorites for a very long time I've been wearing it for years now um, I wear the shade butterscotch or at least I do when I'm not super tan which is like right now I do have a bit of a tan but it's still working with me so that's good for me um, but this is it outside of the bottle I'm sorry outside of the box I just love this it's so creamy it's so beautiful like seriously 10 out of 10 I recommend I can't 
talk about this concealer enough. It's seriously one of my favorites. So moving on, I feel like I want to get into a little bit of lip products. I have quite a few here, all new. Okay, so starting first, we're gonna go with the makeup by Mario Pencil. Um, um, this is the this is his ultra suede sculpting lip pencil I have this pencil already in the shade milk chocolate but I have been trying to get my hands on the shade Travis since I feel like his lip liners launched which is nuts okay like that's crazy they finally had it in and I'm super super excited so it's basically like it's gonna sound crazy but this is a soft milk chocolate versus milk chocolate the the other one that I already have which is like a true milk chocolate if that makes sense so you guys know all of Mario's um, sculpting lip pencils come with their own brush and they also come with a sharpener so let me make sure I didn't throw that box away yeah there we go <laughs> um, and then that is the shade right there I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys <gasps> oh my god I think I'm gonna love this oh with like a really soft, pale, true, like nude, like a blank slate nude, no peach, no pink. I think I'm gonna love this. Oh, I'm so excited. Y'all, you have no idea. Damn, why are my hands dry? What the hell? Um, you guys have no idea how long I've been trying to get my hands on this color. And when I say everyone has been out of it, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't check his site directly. Look at me being dumb. Being dumb, okay? All right, anyway, so sticking with Makeup by Mario, this is the Moisture Glow uh, Plumping Lip Color Lip Gloss. Super excited to also try this. Look at how cute they are. Oh, it's like a little baby. Ooh, so I got the shade Smoky Pink. Like, hi, you couldn't tell I like soft, you know? I don't even know why I'm explaining myself. So this is it here. Let's give it, oh my God, <gasps> y'all. I might wear this today. <laughs> Bitch. Sorry. You know what? You know what? Mario. Why is that man a fucking genius? Can someone please make it make sense? Wow. I'm upset. I'm absolutely wearing this today. I'm literally going to wipe this off. Blank slate. Start over. That, because that is fire. That's fire. Wow. Okay, moving on before this goes on for too long. This is the Summer Fridays um, Lip Butter Balm. I've heard such good things about this, but I haven't gotten a chance to try it. When we went on... When I just got when I was in Thailand, one of my friends, I believe, she had she had either had it or asked me if I no, she had it. And she asked me if I tried it and I had it and I was like super pumped to give it a shot. I um yeah, they do come in colors. So this one is vanilla beige. Um, this is it here. Um, I'm really big on just using really good drugstore uh chapsticks for hydration, but it's really nice to have um, lip balms that have tints to them when you're doing like no makeup looks so like when I'm on the go and I'm just like running errands and things like that and I'm doing really light makeup it's really nice to have something like this um, because they do have a little bit of a color hue to them so you see that and obviously as you guys can tell it's in that same family of the Mario lip gloss that I would wear more out versus this what I would wear for every day. So I'm really excited to give this a shot as well. I might actually just throw both of these in my little bag and take it with me today because I'm obsessed. Y'all ain't see nothing. All right, moving on. <laughs> so these are the, I got two of these. These are the Refi Lip Sculpts right I got the shade sepia and then fawn um, I heard actually really good reviews about this from um, an employee at Sephora I was picking up whatever I can't remember and she was like oh my god like have you tried the lip sculpt from refi and I was like no and she was like oh my god they're amazing you should definitely give them a try so from what I can understand I'm trying to open the other one so you guys can see both colors here they are out of the boxes um, and basically what it is if you pop off the top 
you have your lip liner so this one is fawn and then this deeper one is sepia you put the top back on and then you twist whoa there we go twist it out and then this is like the plumping like gloss as you can tell it's clear it just goes over the liner so you just fill in the liner with you fill in your lips with the liner bless you riley <laughs> and then you go over it with the gloss and i was like really intrigued um i have seen some reviews saying that the pencils break really easily but i obviously can't attest to that so we'll see what happens and it's basically just supposed to be like um like really sculpting for the lips really defining for the lips um which is something i'm always going for because like i have lip filler but i'm i it's like a deep rooted insecurity of mine to like really make sure my lips like are defined and stand out because without my filler i'm like <laughs> so you know <laughs> that's my own uh that's my own uh, thing that i'm throwing out there for now okay um moving on <laughs> okay so this is my charlotte tilbury flawless finish airbrush no airbrush flawless finish um complexion perfecting micro powder all right guys I, that was a mouthful but as you guys can see this is this is um one i've purchased before but as you guys can see look at it baby we done hit pizzity pizzity pan um so i double set my face i go in first with the charlotte tilbury powder this is the shade medium that's the one that i use just because i like to brighten i only basically use this in my under eye and my chin area like the centers of my face where i really wanted to sort of stand out and then i use a loose setting powder to sort of set over this but this is how i get my makeup to basically last all day um the pressed powder just holds everything in first and then the uh, loose powder just bakes everything afterwards so just so you guys get a good look at what medium really looks like fresh um, out of the package here it is obviously as you guys can tell it's very light but again like I said I use it for brightening there is a dark and a deep I believe I think there's two more shades um, but again this is for brightening purposes I would never set my entire face with this unless I was absolutely crazy let's get into body and hair care quick story time very very quick I did sort of like a big chop a, almost two years ago um, I was just under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure and I was dealing with a lot of my the health of my hair was just not very good I went about a year of just doing protective styles and wearing wigs and like things like that and then um, at in January of this year I was like okay we're cool like you know natural hair like you know we're good i do have clip-ins um just because i have very thin and very fine hair so the clip-ins help with volume but for the most part the length is pretty standard however i had braids when i went to thailand and i had a lot of breakage after my braids and so i'm now a little frustrated because i did all that work to heal my hair and to grow it back and then i went and got braids for the first time in 20 years and I had a lot of breakage and that is I expected breakage I just didn't expect as much as I got so which was very frustrating so the front and the sides are fine it's really like the back that is really struggling where it's like really short I'm not gonna like fish around right now because it's not the point and I promise a quick story time so I wanted to grab some products to sort of help with that so recently I made a hair oil for myself with all natural products and so in order to sort of aid with that and like helping it really get in and penetrate my scalp I picked up this hence the story time all right here we go so this is a silicone scalp massager it is Sephora brand and um, I wanted a soft one I didn't want one that was super hard and would hurt my scalp or damage my scalp like my my head is very sensitive I'm not tender-headed but like if I scratch too hard I can literally like cut myself it's like super frustrating um, and so this is a um, scalp massager for deep cleaning and massaging of the scalp it's believed to increase circulation and support healthy scalp and hair it can be used wet or dry and paired with your favorite products um, it's plastic free and made of one piece silicone so there's no like potential for snagging or like anything like that and basically 
um, if you know anything about like stimulating the scalp when you apply oils and things like that um, or just any type of hair products or just mis dry massaging as well there are really good pressure points in the head that help with that and that's right around um, this area then right here at the skull point and then at the nape of the neck and actually like the nape of the neck is where I have the majority of my breakage and where I have the most trouble with growth and length retention and so I sort of want to apply, I mean obviously I'm going to be doing it across my whole head, but I also wanted to focus that there. And I usually do it with my fingers, but I was like, you know, why not? Let's, you know, let's give it a shot. Let's take it out of the package really quick so you guys can really see. So here it is here. Easy to hold, easy to grip. The, ooh, that feels really good. No. Oh baby, I'm about to have a field day with this bad boy. Wow. It's even got a little thing so I can hang it. <laughs> okay, anywho. So sticking with hair, um, I picked up two detoxing shampoos just because with the amount of oiling that I've been doing for my hair to stimulate my hair growth, it is really important to still get a deep clean out of your hair. So I picked up two um, clarifying shampoos. Um, and the first one is the Detox Shampoo from Way. So like I was saying, when you have all this product build up, after a while, regular shampoos are just not gonna cut it. You need something that's really gonna like get in there, really clean the scalp, and really remove all the heavy products that you've sort of put into the hair over the weeks. And so I did ended up, end up getting a mini of this just because I'm just sort of trying things out. Um, but even on the back, it basically says like, been on a dry shampoo binge, time for a detox. This content Traded shampoo with apple cider vinegar will deeply uh, cleanse away dirt and impurities and like that's like I said what I've been trying to do I've been leaning more towards natural products for like you know just everyday use like I said I made my own home my own hair oil but as far as like shampoos and like things like that I'm still buying more like commercial um, products but I just wanted to use something that I know that works and one of the things that I was reading about the way shampoo is that it works for almost all hair textures especially this detox one specifically obviously they do have their other ones targeted towards fine hair and medium hair and yada 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 but the detox shampoo is said to actually be good for almost all hair textures so I was really excited about that the next one I got was from Pattern. So if you've not heard of Pattern, this is actually by Tracy Ellis Ross and it's designed for girls with curly, coily hair. Um, obviously, you can tell by the color of my skin, I fall into that category automatically. Yes, my hair is straightened right now, but typically my hair is very curly. It says on the back, formulated for curlies, coilies, and tight textures. I I'm assuming it works for like a wide range of people despite what, you like regardless of what your curl pattern is. So I really loved that um, because I think a lot of people get so obsessed with like, am I a 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B, 4C, like whatever, but like ultimately you can have a mix of like curl patterns and so I think I was like really excited to see that this was not like marketed towards one specific um uh, curl pattern. Um, okay, so it basically says on the back when it's time for a deep clean our cleansing shampoo helps to remove buildup that's accumulated on your curls without stripping away the healthy oils of your tresses. It helps give hair a robust cleanse formulated with matcha green tea, aloe vera and panthenol. I'm not sure what panthenol is, but mm, whatever. So if you guys don't know, like anyone with curly hair, uh, the ends always end up really dry for a lot of us because it makes it hard for the natural oils to make their way down just simply because it's not a straight journey it's like a really twisted and coily journey and so it is really important 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 wow important when using uh, shampoos and products in general that they're not stripping the natural oils away from your hair because you sort of need them like we need every drop of the oil to sort of make it to the bottom otherwise like the hair gets damaged and split you need trims there you like and that's where all the other issues come in so boom there's that I was really excited to read this so we'll see which one works for me who knows I also ended up getting the heat protectant from pattern I read a lot of the reviews about this and everyone was saying like when they uh, tried it at first like they were like oh my god it's like oily whatever but like yeah like like look at my hands <laughs> it seems that way but everyone said it was like really really good for their hair so I don't know if this will just be good for like when my hair is curly and I'm just like diffusing or just air drying it or whatever I mean not air drying it um you know what I'm trying to say diffusing it or blow drying it there we go 
um, or if this still will be good for my hair when it's straight because it says that it's a lightweight spray that safeguards strands with the pattern protecting power of I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this seed oil um, uh, sunflower and then jojoba um, it's a non grease sol solution that also provides stretch style soap press oh there we go I just got my answer uh, stretch style soap presses and blowouts with a healthy luster oh oh my god wait my hands are dry that's crazy my hand was just so oily that's nuts okay I'm actually really excited to try this cuz I do straighten my hair a lot just because of the length right now I'm just not wearing it curly I just maybe I will who knows right now I'm just not really feeling the vibes um, so I do wear it straight nine times out of ten I feel like you guys on my channel have also only seen my hair straight which is funny to think about but um, yeah so we'll see what happens I'm actually really excited to use this because I've also always only used drugstore heat protectants and I ain't gonna lie I feel like they don't really be doing shit um, but I've also been really mindful of keeping my heat very low on my hair and like things like that really to just protect my locks you know what I'm saying all right guys so we're gonna round out the video with one of my favorite products this is an old well not an oldie but like you know you guys have seen me use it before this is the way bath and body scrub scalp and body scrub I always do this why would y'all believe that I actually like the product if I don't even know what it's called Lord Jesus anyway you guys have seen me use this before normally I use the Melrose place but I took the st. Bart's scent with me on vacation when I went to Thailand, um, Thailand, for those of you guys who don't know me, this like scent, the St. Bart's smells like St. Bart's, like it smells like vacation. <gasps> it's too good, it's too good. Y'all, you don't understand, this makes my skin so soft, so supple, so like luxurious and just bright and like smooth, like everything about it is like my baby, okay? my baby y'all know I'm using this bad boy tonight okay not only does do you smell good after you smell good all day but your skin just feels amazing okay amazing mm. all right y'all so that literally concludes the video I hope you guys found some stuff that you like like that ain't even ass baby <laughs> Um, I'm so excited to like really try all these products out if you guys want to see my thoughts and my feelings on them as I like continue to use them especially because the majority of these are new um, make sure you guys scroll down and subscribe and you'll catch me in one of my weekly vlogs where I'm definitely using some of these um, with you guys if not all of them with you guys and you'll really get my true like feedback and a lot of from a lot of them in there but yeah i'm gonna head off um you girls got things to do places to go people to see not really on the people but we gonna pretend um <laughs> but yeah um let me just go ahead and just get out of here thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope to see you guys in my next video if you made it to the end of the video i love you guys so much i hope you guys pop into a sephora very soon to pick up some of these bad boys and let me know how you feel about them too or if there's anything you guys already have also let me know how you feel about them because baby put me on game if they're not good i'll take it right back Okay? <laughs> but alright guys, I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.